So, as I put in the video description, this video will have spoilers for, I suppose, possibly even for Black Widow, but certainly for the MCU leading up to Black Widow. So, usually I don't talk about these before the movies already come out, but I don't know, I, I'm going to do it for this one. This is my idea for a potential post credit scene for Black Widow. I, I suppose a theory for what it might be. I don't personally think that making a Black Widow movie set in the past undoes the power of her sacrifice in Endgame. I think it might be if she was brought back after the events of Avengers Endgame, though. With that said, I would love to see her in an A-Force movie. I don't know, can they do like a... Bring in a Natasha from a different part of the multiverse? I don't know. Maybe they would bring her back and it was maybe about contract renegotiations. Maybe she has appeared as many times as she was originally contracted to be. And it's a matter of if she enjoys working on this movie enough. So, yeah. My my theory on a mid credit scene or post credit scene in, this, in, in Black Widow the movie. So... Yeah, you might have heard there's a theory that now that Steve Rogers has returned the Soul Stone to Warmere, Natasha should be alive again. So, yeah, my theory is if in the mid-credits or post-credits scene, yeah, we'll, we'll see a continuation of that setup that she, yeah, that she might come back. After all, the fact that this is set years before is not an obstacle. Captain Marvel, the solo movie, had a post credit scene set after Infinity War, even though there's, I don't know, 20-something years between the events of the solo movie and Infinity War. And the fact that we saw her die, and that this would be bringing her back in a post credit scene, the first Thor movie did that with Loki. I mean, okay, technically that wasn't a confirmed death. Maybe a better example is... Gamora was brought back in Endgame after dying on Mormir in Infinity War. So here's how I could see it go. The post credit scene starts without us seeing exactly what's happening, but hearing a voice that slowly becomes familiar. Maybe we see the setting like in the Thanos mid credit scene of the first Avengers movie, and us hearing the voice could be like us hearing the Red Skull voice for a few seconds before seeing him in Infinity War. Then we realize the voice is the young Steve Rogers, as opposed to the really old retired Steve Rogers. Maybe he says something along the lines of, so what you're saying is that what happened here, and the Red Skull continues, has been undone by you returning the Soul Stone. Any second now, she should... Ah, there she is. And we see Natasha walking into the view of Steve and Red Skull. Steve rushes up and asks, are you okay? Natasha goes, I jumped. I remember landing. It hurt like hell. Steve goes, it's okay, we're going home. And then suddenly we hear a falcon. Then why isn't she here? And we realize that this whole time, what we saw was being recounted to Falcon and Winter Soldier. And Steve... Yeah, to, to clarify. Recounted to them during the... Ah. Yeah, the last, the, the last scene of old... The, one, the scene of old Steve in Endgame, you know. And Steve says, Red Skull explained that it's not that simple, and then he goes on to say, I need to talk to Dr. Strange, or maybe Carol Danvers. And then we'll actually see Natasha be brought back in the next solo movie of one of those two characters. Dr. Strange via time travel, or maybe alternate dimensions, multiverse. Carol Danvers maybe has contact with aliens that can help So, so, yeah, in case I'm not being clear, what I mean is this scene would be set right after Steve hands the shield to Falcon before that scene cuts. So, yeah, that... That is it for this video. I don't have a good outro for this one, so bye.